Hi, Libras. Happy holidays. Um, before I start your reading, I just wanted to speak to all of you. Um, so when it comes to the love readings, I just want you all to understand that you will never be able to attract a love higher than where you are at with yourself, okay? So love, it all begins with you. Um, a codependent relationship is basically where you're looking in to have somebody love you more than you truly love yourself. If you are to a point where yourself with yourself where you're overextending to the point where you're draining, you constantly think about the person, you feel like life is not worth living if you don't have this certain love. Um, if it's if it's taking away from you that is more than likely toxic love, okay? So until you get to a healthy a healthy state within yourself, you're going to keep attracting people who love you in a toxic way, all right? So I just wanted to make that clear because um you know, there's all there's all different types of readings that you see. And there is even sometimes when you see reconciliation and reconciliation is basically just the universe bringing the love back around to you, whether it will work or not. When it comes back around to you, it has to do with you and also with your your love partner and where you guys are at internally with yourselves or in your paths. And if you're able to compromise, are you able to work out your differences? Um, it You have to take all that into consideration, okay? So I just wanted to put that out there just to be realistic about, about love and, and these readings. Um, because some people feel deceived, you know, when they hear that a love is going to return, they they assume that it's going to be so beautiful. And sometimes it, it, it won't be so beautiful if you don't do the inner work or if you do the inner work, but the person that you are um, partner with doesn't do the inner work. It's going to it's going to be a mismatch because what's going to happen is you're going to vibrate higher than them and you you both won't be on the same level and then nine times out of 10, you're going to leave because you're going to say, I deserve more than what I'm taking, or I want someone who has the same values and uh, the same values as I do, you know? So, okay. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, now let's begin. <laughs> so... Yeah, I knew this. So self-love, self-love Libras. Let me tell you guys something. You all have come such a long way within yourself, within your, your journey, spiritually, emotionally, physically. You have a, a lot of you. I want to say like 70% because I was meditating on the sign prior to beginning this reading and, and I heard 70%. So 70% of you Libras are right here. Um, I heard the song, Mary J. Blige, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry no more. It's not worth my time because you're not worth my tears. So I feel like a lot of you Libras are about to take a new path. So if there was a time that you were giving your love, your dedication, to someone else, I feel like 70% of you guys are no longer here. Like you're not, you're not doing it. Like you're starting to devote yourself to yourself and you are ready. Like I see readiness. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so ready to attract higher love, better love, healthier love. I, I hear reciprocal, reciprocal love. You, you want the same energy you give. All right. There's no more mistreating you or taking you for granted. Um, this is a new path. To me, this sounds like a final decision. And it, to me, I just feel like it wasn't easy getting here. And for some of you, I literally see if you were living with a love interest, I see some of you packing and, and moving your things out 
like relocating. Um, I hear severing ties. You're severing ties with a toxic person that you were connected to. And it can also be like, if it's not only just a toxic love interest, it can also be like toxic, I hear gossiping, like friends who've been gossiping about you. Because this is the thing, you guys trusted someone, I hear consulting. Like you had a friend that you could have been consulting in, in regards to this love when things were getting messy, when you could have been at your worst. You know, I hear your low point and you realize that this information that you were giving this person or confiding in them, um, I hear mockery. Like they could have been taking it to spread rumors about you. Okay. This could have even been a family member that you thought you can trust it. And you are just packing your bags. And I hear like, okay, I just heard growth. This is like some growth, okay? And I hear spiritual awareness. You just gained some spiritual awareness. If you guys are psychic, your psychic abilities have just heightened. I hear new levels. So you can be, ooh, new levels. You could be moving away. I hear from a sociopath. Um, Somebody who could have just been all about themselves. You're not about that life no more, okay? You're not about that life no more. So I see a new love interest. I don't think you guys felt like it would go this way. You probably just wanted someone else's time and attention, something to take your mind off of what you were going through. It could have been a breakup. It could have been um, a very stagnant time in your relationship where there was no love anymore. You know, like trust was broken. The love was starting to die out. So you was like, you know what? Instead of sitting around by my phone waiting for somebody to call me and apologize or tell me whether they're going to make things right with me, I'm just going to go out there and see what I can find. And it seems like you guys could have connected with someone still with your ex-partner on your mind, still in your heart, wondering, do we have a chance? And now you're ready to finally release it. Like you see that this person is just not going to change. And it's it's truly unfortunate for them because they lost the good one, you know, but it's okay. Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. All right. Yeah. This is a new love. This is love. So you're connecting to a new love. All right. You had an ex that you just felt was way too prideful, way too prideful to apologize, to make things right. And they oh, they always had to be right, too. That's what I hear. Like, no matter how much you would try to talk to them, I hear savor the moment. You would try to create moments of peace between y'all. This person just wasn't reciprocating the peace. They weren't reciprocating the love, you know? So this, to me, seems like a new love situation that has began for you, okay? Yeah. And spirit is saying, give this new relationship a chance. And I, that could be the message or you are finally giving love a chance again and you're opening up your heart to somebody new, you know? Let's see. Yeah, see, love yourself first. These are one, two, three um, cards of love. So you guys took the time to nurture your own wounds and heal yourself. For someone I see reading, some of you guys started to read. Maybe you've been researching on ways of how to heal yourself, or maybe you can be researching, um, oh, I hear past trauma. So you were researching ways to heal past trauma because I see somebody reading a book. Somebody could have even purchased a book on self-love, okay? Yeah. See? So this is this says um, children, and this also says soulmate. I think you all just connected to a soulmate. If you didn't, this is what is to me. The energy says here, like if if you haven't met this person, like you will. This energy feels like it's here. It's it's readily available for you to snatch on up. You know. So if you are looking for new love, if you have finally. Um, released a trauma bond, you know, this is what's here for you. You're stepping into this right now. 
So this is a soulmate and I see children. So you both, you could be focused on your children more, you know, like now that that toxic relationship is gone, you've been able to focus on building your family back up again. You know, maybe you have to concentrate a little bit more on the kids because you're a single parent. Maybe the home has been divided in two where you and your ex-spouse or ex-lover are no longer living together in the home. So now your children are your big focus or you and this new soulmate, um, both have children, okay? And you could be combining your families together as one. Um, yep. This is beautiful. And it says romantic feelings. To me, this this gives me beginning stages vibes, you know? Like this vibe right here seems like mellow, calm. This is quiet. <laughs> This is, I like this. I like this. Um, Libras. Oh my good. I love this. <laughs> I've been, oh, I've been praying for y'all because y'all done went through the mud, baby. I've been praying for y'all. This gives me new vibes, you know, like a new love, a true love. Let's see. I hear make it last forever. So you guys, I hear conversations. These are, these are dates um conversations i see someone like you guys can be even um someone you can be at their home or they're at your home and you guys are like watching a movie and just talking about uh things that happened in the past you know i hear elegant this person that you are about to meet or who's already in your life is very elegant Oh, justice served, baby. What did I tell y'all? Y'all just completed a karmic cycle. And justice too. Maybe some of you guys literally had to go um, to court and this could be a court order and it, you know, went in your favor. This could be justice where this is a, a divorce that is finalized, you know, and now you're you're free to give love a chance now and you're opening up your heart to somebody new. Yeah. So this is a family that broke apart. So once again, you could have had children with this person. You could have also been connected to a water sign. Um, I see one child. So you could have had one child with a water sign. For some of you guys, I see two children with a water sign. Two girls or two boys. No, two girls or one boy, one girl. This is a breakup, justice. You finally walked away from something that was toxic. You could have also been with a... Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but this took a lot of time. And I did say that, like, this was a hot mess for a while. And now I hear tranquility. I hear peace, healing, love. This is this, woo, like, woo, sa. <laughs> this feels good. Yeah. Release. So you guys released an ex finally. You finally released an ex. You released an X and now it's next. Okay. What's this? Yeah, this is healing. So you took some time out to heal your broken heart, heal the broken pieces of you. Um, somebody said, I'm healing of what was left. <laughs> you you trying to heal what was left. This person could have snatched your whole soul. Like you healing. Um, yeah. This was definitely a trauma bond, okay? I think this connection taught you a whole lot about what love isn't. You learned what love isn't. And here goes your passionate new beginning. This is a brand new beginning. Um, and I just said that this, this beginning is like healing. And here you go with wish fulfillment, okay? Um, this is wish fulfillment. This is something that you prayed about, you asked about. This is a new love life that is beginning. And ooh, see, you can be connecting to a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. And this is somebody who's going to work with you. So they're not going to be selfish. And this person is hardworking because I even see somebody with their working clothes on. Okay. So if you are a female connecting to a male, this can be a Taurus male that works really hard because I see him like meeting up with you while he still has on a uniform. He can be, um, I hear an attorney, he could be an attorney. He could be a mechanic. Um, 
I see a uniform. Truck driver, construction worker, law enfor enforcement. This can be a police officer. But this is somebody I hear they they work. They can be a CEO. Some of them work overnight or work long hours. So, yep. And here you go. Hey, baby. This is y'all. <laughs> you know, this is you. Um, and with the thinking card, it's, it's like your thinking abilities are way more sharp. I think your intuition has truly heightened. Um, I think you're you're able to make more concrete decisions, whereas before I feel like your mind was so cluttered. I hear decluttering. You're decluttering a lot. And and literally right now you can be um, throwing things out. For some of you, I see a move, like a big transition, like you're moving and you could be throwing a lot of things out. I see a moving truck. I see a move. So some of you guys are moving, transitioning into a new place. Um, yeah. And I see this is marriage. So whatever, whoever this new person is, this is the wish fulfillment. This is leading into marriage. Or you can be wondering like, oh my goodness, are we going to get married? Because how smooth flowing this relationship is. This is something unexpected too. I just heard the, the word unexpected. Like you, you're in awe. You can't believe that love can be so peace, so beautiful. Um, you could have, you could even cry. Like, oh my God, is this really it? Like you're nervous. Like, is this really it? Can I, can I, um, like let my defenses down? <laughs> you can also be connected to a Leo, you know, but this person is strong and they're very passionate about you. They're very passionate about this connection. They're very catering or you can be catering or maybe some of you guys work for a catering company. Um, yeah. And this is growth. This is abundance. Things are finally looking up for you. I hear chain like um, does somebody just buy you a chain like jewelry? Did you get jewelry for Christmas from somebody as a gift? I also hear chain like restaurants. Are you guys going to go into business together and have chain restaurants? Okay. Let's see. This is nice, Libras. Oop. Oop and a oop. Yeah. So this is beautiful. <clears throat> Once again, this is the, this is a, a death. OK, so it could be an ending that caused you like severe depression, like realizing like this is really, really over. Or um, you can also had been connected to a Scorpio that caused a lot of mental anguish. OK, and they left you in deep depression. And <clears throat> now this depression is coming to an end. So this is an end to your sadness, an end to the dark days, okay? This is a closing on a chapter and a rebirth. Highest priest, this is you. Like I said, um, I feel like a lot of you guys are very intuitive, you know? Maybe intuitively you found out something about somebody. Um, like your, your intuition was very, very heightened and you could have found out something intuitively and somebody tried to play it off like, oh, you're always accusing me of things, you know, here you go again, talking about, oh, my intuition, my intuition never lies. You know, they were trying to doubt your intuition and all along you were right, you know, but this is done. That's a done deal, baby. You moving on. Um, let's see. Yeah. You're moving, you're moving on. So the your past person, it looks like there is no more communication between you two. All right. You could have been very, very defensive and you're you're letting your defenses down that you didn't hear from this person. Maybe you and I did say that. I said for some of you guys, you you were um on the dating scene just to try to escape the pain of having to sit back and wait on someone. Um, you could have been really, really hurt about this. It could have left you in severe depression and now you're dropping your defenses down. Now you're starting to build a life of your own. You you realize like you can't carry or hold this pain or this person no more. You know, you can't hold these people anymore. You can't hold the pain. 
You don't want to be in competition with nobody anymore. You don't want to fight over being with somebody, you know? You don't want to fight over somebody, whether they're going to choose you. Um, you don't want to deal with that no more. Yeah. So once again, I feel like <clears throat> a lot of you guys, um, I hear an exciting time or a, an exciting new business adventure. Some of you guys can be really working on your finances, okay? So financial success is very, very important to you at this time. If not, also you can be connecting to, I, I keep saying that. I just keep hearing and seeing um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But either way, like your love will be really, really grounded. Your roots, I hear the roots. Your roots will be really grounded. This is definitely a big change, you know, a big change that you never thought could happen. <laughs> like it really caught you by surprise. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is beautiful. What is this? Yeah. See? You manifested a new a new love offer. Um and if you are a male if you are a male Libra, it seems like you manifested a female earth sign, someone who was thoughtful, creative and and like sensible, very very warm, very giving, very nurturing, okay? Um, and they balance you. That's what I hear. Like they're a beautiful balance to who you are in nature. And this is a love offer. Okay. It could be somebody who is younger than you, but this is the beginning. Like I did say that this give me like new vibes beginning. That's going to lead to something so beautiful. Cause I hear, <laughs> I hear talks of the future. Okay. Yeah. So new beginning, new truth, you cutting through the bullshit, <laughs> you starting all over, baby, okay? New beginnings. Yeah. And then it looks like there's somebody from your past who is either spying on you or, or, because for a lot of you, if it's not spying, there's still secrets, you know? Maybe sometimes your mind goes back to a horrible time or being with somebody who treated you really, really bad, you know? Um, they could be spying on you. If they're not spying on you, it's like they're still keeping secrets. So you could have walked away from this person and even with walking away from them, they're still in the drama. You ain't you ain't leave nobody good behind. Like this person, they still still got secrets, still withholding information, and they're still caught up in a bunch of drama. This is what they're still going through. So for some of y'all who's wondering, like, did I do the right thing? Yeah. Because if you would have went back to this person, you'll still be with the Ten of Swords. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants this energy anymore. Secrets, drama, nobody wants this. So this person that you were connected to in the past, they're still they're still with this this bad energy, this negative energy and bad vibes. <laughs> yeah, you could have also been connected to um, a Gemini, but yeah, nobody wants all this energy. Lovers triangles and drama. They're still they're still in the energy. So you did yourself a justice by choosing you. You guys chose yourself. You nurtured yourself. Now you're feeling beautiful. You know, a lot of people look up to you too. Like you, let me tell you, because I heard the word inspirational. For some of you guys, you can be an inspirational speaker to tell your story. Some of your stories were like a horror story. Nobody would even believe you were going through half the pain that you were. You probably still go to work, show up with a, with a smiley face, being kind, giving you people never knew that the, the pain that you were suffering internally, you know? So now you're nurturing yourself, see, and falling in love. You can be falling in love with yourself. Whoever's connecting to you, they're falling in love with you. They really are. Look at this. 
and their offer is solid. Whoever this new love is that you just connected to, here we go again with that green, baby. They probably got mad money. <laughs> they got money and they're grounded and, and they truly like love you. And look, this is like a stable beginning. This is also like a new job. And I did say that. I did say something in reference to um, a chain restaurant that you just started, a program I heard, outreach program. So somebody is like an entrepreneur. Like you you have, somebody's a nurse. I see a nurse. Um, yeah. Some of you guys are counselors. Um, I hear drug rehab. Some of you guys work as drug rehab counselors. Yeah. This is, yeah, a new career change. A lot of you guys has changed jobs. This is massive change. It's like you guys manifested a brand new job and a brand new love. It's all new, baby. And what I just say, y'all can tell people y'all stories. They won't believe you. Maybe some of you guys are writing books or you're considering it. Like, let me write a book to inspire people that you don't have to stay in toxic relationships and what I went through. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys are considering that path um, to enlighten others. Some of you guys are light workers, crystals. You could be using crystals to heal. Um Heal yourself or heal others. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What else? Body work. This can be um, somebody can be getting their body done, right? You know, or it can be someone who does operations, a tattoo artist, someone who loves flowers, or you could be gifted with flowers. Flowers to your, yeah to your job. And this is a healer. I did say that. I see nurses, I seen doctors, but it just seems like a real, real big change. Things are finally starting to look up. Um, let's see. This is beautiful Libras. This makes me so happy for you. <laughs> Yeah, cycles and rhythms. So you're closing one cycle and you're beginning a new cycle in home. And I did say with home, I've seen a lot of you moving. So maybe you're getting a new home, a purchase of a new home or a new residence, a new apartment, okay, in sacred space. So you guys can be cleansing your home too. You guys got that good old sage out trying to burn out the bad vibes for the new years. You're cleaning out your house. You're throwing out stuff. If you have a ex, you clearing out your house and saging it, spraying it, praying over it, blessing it <laughs> so that you can have that newness coming in because this is all new. OK, so I send you so much love and light, Libras. You guys, you deserve this. This is all your hard inner work. OK, so be proud of yourselves. Love and light.